So as you can tell <clears throat> from the video of the cylinder head, we got everything out. We got the engine supported on a couple of axle stands and a jack and some blocks of wood. It's holding up. It's pretty sturdy like this. Inside with the cylinder doesn't look too bad. I'm going to remove the oil squirters, which are down there somewhere. You can see them on the, the right hand side over there on the bottom. So I'm going to remove the oil squirters and then we're going to hone the cylinders. Um, so far I've cleaned up the entire cylinder head. Um, don't forget to take out the uh, washers for the head studs and the uh, shims or lifter shims, yeah, lifters. Uh, once that was done, I've cleaned up the mating surfaces, um, then degreased everything with brake cleaner, uh, cleaned out the oil passages everywhere, uh, cleaned out the spark plug holes. We did the bottom as well. So the cylinder sides, as you can tell, they're not perfect, but they're better than they were. Uh, might take a wire brush to them tomorrow with a drill. Uh, I've had a look inside the um, ports. I don't have a light. And there was some gunk on them. Uh, I'll check if I can light something. Maybe show it. Because it's a direct injection engine and they are known for having a uh, yeah, gunk on the uh Yeah, it's it's hard. Yeah, okay, maybe like this. Alright, you can tell there's some gunk on them, but I've scraped off most of it with my uh, compressed air tool while blowing compressed air to them and most of it came off so I'm happy with that uh, I was playing with the idea of changing out the valve stem seals uh, but as I was cleaning the pistons it became really apparent that the issue must have been the pistons. I don't think it's the valve stem seals. Also, I did a leak check on the intake valves by squirting some uh, brake cleaner down them, swirling it around. And I have one with a very tiny leak. I think it was this one. Uh, the exhaust side is basically impossible to test uh, unless maybe you take some water and completely flood the exhaust manifold because it's built into the head um, I didn't feel like doing it because I'm not gonna disassemble this head I could I have the tools I purchased them beginning of last year when I had to fix my car but then again I think it, it'll be fine I really think it was a piston issue because, okay, so here we have the number two. This is the one that uh, was the worst on the inside of the head. And it also had an issue with spark plug fouling. So I put a, I had to put a new spark plug in it uh, the day before I did the teardown because, yeah, it, it, it ceased. It, it stopped working. <laughs> it completely followed up, completely oiled everything. But so this is the the piston I cleaned already. Wow, cleaned up nicely. Hey, okay. yeah. And I really think it's the uh, an issue with with the pistons because look at the. Um, so you you have two piston rings and the third one is an oil scraper ring and this is the oil scraper and it should have tiny holes in the circumference but there is no holes no no holes everything gunked up and this is the inside of the, the scraper don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera but this is uh, like serrated 
and it's full of dirt completely full of dirt yeah so I'll show you what it should look like I have the new uh, piston rings kits here so these are from Mala renowned, renowned brand and look this is what it should look like so it has these tiny holes and then you can see the serrations empty serrations yeah so that's what it should look like also fun on the kit uh, they tell you where they need to go because there's a difference in thickness between the first and second uh, piston ring so uh, it's 12 o'clock at night I still have two pistons to clean um, I'm gonna clean one more I'll show you guys how I do it so yeah <clears throat> all right let's see can you see it if I hold it here yeah you can um, I might check what I have in frame like this yeah something like this should be in frame all right so the biggest build-up you can get like a scraper and, and scrape it some if you really want to like I'm not scratching I'm just loosening most of the carbon deposits not scratching the piston at all just taking off some carbon deposits just to get me a head start make it easy on myself alright and these sides as well as you can tell so a little bit of a little bit of dirt yeah just a bit all right uh, take some brake cleaner give it a hose down all right and already and that looks better I wouldn't say good enough but better we're going to remove the piston rings because we have new ones although on such a tiny piston like this they are really easy to remove you don't need any special pliers to remove them uh, however to install the new ones I did order a set of piston ring pliers because I don't want to bend them or break them they are brittle uh, as you can tell this is the number one from the previous piston but there's a reason for this um, so here is the, the scraper one and it's not in there pretty good all right like so and then the yeah full of dirt all right so now we have a very very dirty piston let's give it another spray down be, ge be generous then we have a scotch bright pad put some cleaner on it and let's go to town on the top Still in frame, right? Yeah, should be still in frame. Uh, you can you can remove as much as you want. It doesn't need to be perfect. There's no reason it should. It'll just come back after a couple miles, a couple kilometers. There will be new carbon deposits on top of the piston so this is just yeah something to take pride in your own work i guess like yeah i cleaned it up good i'm proud of myself but like i said it doesn't really matter yeah this isn't a race car 
So we don't need maximum performance either. We just want it to look good when we reassemble it. All right. So I'll do some more of this off camera. Uh, but what I wanted to show is the sides. So as far as the sides go, don't use scotch bright on the skirts. You can go on the tops over here and in between the ringlands, yeah? But then we have this little lip. The Around the first one, I think it's a special coating. Uh, so you don't need to remove that. So over here, you don't need to remove the one around the first, but then around the second over here, you can tell this needs to go. You see? So I'm scraping, 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 and most of it is, yeah, uh, like varnishes, uh, pieces of the old belt, whatever. And they come off rather easily with the scraper. Uh, you can also use like a flathead screwdriver for this. It won't hurt your piston as long as you're careful. So keep on doing that. All the way around, make sure we got everything. see so now we are going back to our trusty scotch pad and we start rubbing 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 and you'll see the shine come up so don't rub the skirt only the ring lands Take your time, go around, check your work. And as you can tell, it already looks a million times better, all right? So all that's left to do now is make sure that our new piston rings can do their job. Um, so we need to make sure every deposit is removed from inside the ring area. So the easiest way to do this is to take an old ring and like the first one is a thicker one than the second so don't try to use the first ring in the second area only use it in the first maybe in the third and you can just snap it you take it you open it up and you snap it in half then you have uh, the end that's broken so don't use the end that's broken use the original sharp end Insert it into the ring area. Um, I'm going to stand so I can see whatever I'm filming. So insert it into the ring area like so. And then just go and push it through. You see all the dirt coming? You see all the dirt? It just falls out. Look at my finger. Look, all of the dirt. So you just do this a couple of times. Go in this direction, and then when you're done, flip around and go in the other direction. 
All right. Then you do the same one with the second piston ring on the second ring groove. And then you can use the first one because it's a little bit bigger on the, the third ring groove over here. You see how easy it is to remove all of that dirt. Look. So like here, dirty area. Have a look. We're pushing, pushing. <sighs> it's all gone. And then after that we just take a gentle wire wheel, we put some brake cleaner, and we go over it one more time with a wire wheel. Uh, or with a, a wire brush, oh, sorry, a soft wire brush. Like if you have like a, a copper wire brush, use a copper wire brush, because it's softer. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to finish up. Uh, my camera might die. My phone only has 5% left. So this is what we do on a Wednesday night at 12 o'clock. I should be in bed. I'm so sore from working three days non-stop on this car. But it's finally looking up. So... Tomorrow, we should be in the process of reinstalling the pistons. Um, after honing, if everything is cleaned, and we're going to reinstall the pistons. Uh, and I'll film that for you guys again tomorrow. All right? Yeah. Sorry if that was out of frame. It's not easy trying to do this while you're filming yourself. Why do I do it? I don't know. It must be mental. Talking to myself, to my smartphone.